A civil society organization, Oil Watch International, has advocated a sustained shift from energy generated from fossil fuel to cleaner and renewable sources to foster the well-being of the global environment. This was amplified during a global gathering on climate change organized by the organization in Port Harcourt, River City Capital. The theme was demanding real zero, not net zero. The director of health of Mother Earth Foundation is Dr. Nimo Basi. He highlighted the urgent need for a shift from what he described as dirty energy to clean energy and a shift to the grassroots. Governments and corporations are talking about achieving net zero. Net zero does not mean zero. Net zero carbon emission means you keep on emitting the carbon but then you find a way of either capturing the carbon and burying it somewhere, or you plant some trees or designate some forests as, as places where carbon is being absorbed. So you try to balance the production and the capturing or the sinking of the carbon, and then you achieve net zero. So it doesn't really, it's like people trying to solve global warming by mathematics. You don't, not, nature doesn't work that way. You have to, the world needs to stop the use of fossil fuels. And in fact, nobody, no country, no company should go on exploring, looking for new oil, gas, or coal reserves. UNESCO have been very clear about it, that oil exploitation or um, ex extractive um, activities themselves are not compatible with the status of world heritage. And that's why we are worried. And we, we engage communities by as well trying to share with them the experience. And that's why we are here in Nigeria to gather the more information possible and to share that with the communities. And the ultimate goal is just to strengthen them and for them to know that they are not alone in this fight and they have the solidarity with, um, for, from many other communities in Africa. What is there in Togo is that where oil is discovered, uh, the livelihood of communities, uh, communities are fishermen actually. So now uh, fish activities has been reduced because of uh, uh, restriction areas and uh, women are suffering because they no longer process fish as they do before. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.